one student so today we'll discuss about a question paper on topic animal kingdom part 1 so that is from introduction to phylum echinodermata so we'll start with question number 136 body cavity is the cavity present between body wall and gut or elementary canal so in some animals the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm so if it is not lined by mesoderm so but actually that has to be continued so not lined by mesoderm and but it is to be present in scattered pouches but it is present in scattered pouches so this type of coelom we can call it as pseudo coelom so answer will be pseudo coelom so in first option they have given a coelom so a coelom in the sense a stands for absence you have to remember that so absence of coelom means so a uh, such type of animals we can call it as a coelomates if coelom is there but that is not to be completely formed but that is not completely lined means uh, we can call it as pseudo coelomate so that is to be present in the form of scattered pouches so then followed by third one coelomate so coelomate in the sense uh, so this sentence we have to remember so body cavity is present between body wall and the elementary canal so so that that type of animals we can call it as coelomate so in similar way fourth option hemocoelomate so heme in the sense related to uh, blood filled cavities we can call it as blood filled cavities so blood filled cavities we can call it as hemocy like you can take a uh, arthropodon or you can take in molluscan so in these two type of phylum animals you will find so hemolymph as a circulating fluid along with that hemocele also you will find so heme in the sense blood seal in the sense cavity so that fluid is circulating within that particular cavity so that's what it will not come so answer will be pseudo coelomate so pseudo coelomate means in main neat examination if they ask like this same question means you have to remember that always uh, they will give the scattered pouches uh, what we call it as uh, uh, in that uh, definition why because so it is not lined by body it is not lined by what we call it as mesoderm so but it is to be present in scattered pouches so that sentence to be completed so then only you will get this answer pseudo coelomate so next moving to 137 so match the following column 1 and 2 they have given so first porifera so porifera related to here canal system so a1 and ascii helminths means you have to remember well developed muscular pharynx so digestive system is complete along with that muscular pharynx also will find so annelida so annelida in the sense you have to remember metameric segmentation so metameric segmentation so a1 b3 c5 c5 then followed by arthropoda means you have to remember peculiar characteristic feature is jointed appendages so d4 then e echinodermata water vascular system or we can also call it as ambulacral we can also call it as ambulacral system so that water vascular or ambulacral system is the main peculiar characteristic feature of this phylum echinodermata so that's what option c is the correct answer for this question 137 next 138 which of the following statement is incorrect incorrect in the sense not correct one so not correct one in the sense uh, first we'll start with this first option you can then later you can easily come to know so mesoglia so it is present between ectoderm and endoderm in obelia so obelia belongs to phylum nidaria so nidaria another name we can also call it as cilentrata so obelia uh, belongs to phylum nidaria and that is the peculiar characteristic feature that is nothing but diploblastic animal so diploblastic in the sense two germ layers you will find so but third germ layer that is middle mesoderm is present in the form of gelatinous substance we called as mesoglia so this sentence is correct then second one radial symmetry is found in asteria so that is also correct so asterias belongs to starfish belongs to phylum echinodermata so in adults you will find radial pentamerous radial symmetry will find so next moving to third option fasciola is a pseudo coelomate animal so fasciola is nothing but commonly called liver fluke so liver fluke is not belonging to pseudo coelomate so liver fluke will be belonging to a coelomate 
you have to remember belonging to earth's element that's what this statement is incorrect so what about fourth one so tenia so tenia means we can commonly called a tapeworm or we can also call it as a pork tapeworm so based on its uh, appearance so these are triploblastic animals so first triploblastic animals are platyhelminths or platworms only so out of four so third option fasciola is a pseudo coelomate animal so this is actually incorrect statement so next 139 in some animal groups the body is found divided into compartments with at least some organs or organ repeated so this characteristic feature is named as so automatically you have to remember this is always you have to remember metamerism so segmentation or metamerism we can call and in this individual compartment we can call it as metamere individual compartment we can call it as metamere so this information you have to remember so this peculiar characteristic feature you will find in the phylum animals like you will find in phylum annelidans you will find in the phylum annelidans and uh, first one metamorphosis metamorphosis usually will find in aquatic animals including this amphibians also so metamorphosis means uh, transformation of larva into an adult so this is what uh, metamorphosis and uh, metagenesis metagenesis mainly will find in ciliantrates you will find in ciliantrate so ciliantrates we can also call it as nidarian so in nidarian so this is metagenesis exhibiting this metagenesis is the peculiar characteristic feature so that means that so a sexual generation is altering with this sexual generation and again sexual generation is once again altering with the a sexual generation so this is what we can call it as alternation of generation so this is the main important character in ciliantrate so this also you have to remember so related to this individual compartments means related to metamerism or segmentation you have to remember next question number 140 so which of the following feature is not present in the phylum arthropoda so arthropoda means first important character will remember as presence of chitinous exoskeletal structure so this is what important character then metameric segmentation so metameric segmentation usually will find mainly in annelida along with that so external segmentation you will find in that arthropoda also so that's what metameric segmentation also true then parapodia so parapodia this is nothing but aquatic annelida this is the aquatic annelida so parapodia are nothing but these are the locomotor structures you will find in the aquatic annelidans so they are asking about which feature is not present in the phylum arthropoda so this is belongings to annelida that's what this is the true then jointed appendages also the main important characteristic feature of uh, these animals phylum animals we can call it as arthropodans next body having meshwork of cells internal cavities lined with food filtering flagellated cell food filtering flagellated cell always you have to remember that coanocytes coanocytes or we can also call it as collar cells so by the beating action of these flagellated cells uh, in that particular opening or in the ostia that helps in continuous entry of sea water into the sponge body so this is what the main function to be done by coenocytes or by the collar cells so these collar cells or coenocytes are the main characteristic feature of phylum porifera so porifera is the correct answer so mollusca will not come so plate elements will not come so protozoans you will find a protoplasmic grade of organization so here you will not find cellular grade of organization so in these two will find organ and organ system grade of organization so usually uh, you have to remember that the collar cells or the coenocytes are the characteristic features of phylum porifera helps in continuous beating of these flagellated cells helps in entry of continuous entry of sea water into the sponge body
142. Metagenesis refers to. So, in previous question only, I have already told you. So, metagenesis means alternation of generation between asexual and sexual phases of an organism. For example, you can take uh, any organism like in Obelia or you can take in Physalia or you can take in Adamsia, Panatula, Gorgonia or you can take Meandrina, Brain Collar or these organisms will be exhibiting this uh, asexual generation or sexual generation or in some you will find so both type of uh, phases both sexual and asexual phases so this is what we called as metagenesis and second option occurrence of a drastic change in the form during the post embryonic development so this is not to be related with this then presence of segmented body and parthenogenetic mode of reproduction. Usually, in some you will find parthenogenetic mode of reproduction, you will find in arthropodans, not in the phylum, not related to this metagenesis. Then last option, presence of different morphic forms. So morphic in the sense, that is what we can call it as polymorphism. So polymorphism also you will find in this phylum animals only but that polymorphism is not related to the metagenesis metagenesis only different so polymorphism only different polymorphism in the sense when single organism exhibiting in more than one body form so that is nothing but in polyp as well as in medusa form so direct peculiar definition of this metagenesis means you have to refer this alternation of generation between asexual and sexual phases in that particular organism so that's what option a is the correct answer next 143 so which group of animals belongings to the same phylum so some group of animals they have given you have to choose so all these three will be belongings to that particular same group malarial parasite malarial parasite means this is insecta insecta means arthropoda then amoeba protozoa it will not come then again mosquito will be belonging to insect arthropoda here two arthropoda one protozoa so that's what they will not come under same group next moving to second one earthworm annelida pinworm ascalimins then tapeworm platyhelmin so this will also not come then prawn arthropoda crustacean then scorpion arachnida so belongings to same arthropoda then locusta. So locusta will also belonging to class insecta. So all three will be belonging to same phylum called arthropoda. All three belonging to phylum arthropoda. You have to remember. Then last one. Sponge, sponges, sea anemone, cilantrata, starfish, echinodermata. So that's what three different phylums will come. So answer for this question will be C. Option C you have to remember. Next 144. So match the name of the animal column 1 with the characteristic feature of column 2 and the phylum or the class in column 3 to which it belongs. For example, you can take in column 1 U spongia they have given. U spongia we can also call it as bath sponge. So this is marine 1. So marine bath sponge. Ectoparasite? No, this is not ectoparasite. Then platyhelminths? No, it is not belonging to platyhelminths. So this belong you spongia belongings to sponges or poriferans. Next second one, N silostoma. This is actually N silostoma, not cyclo. N silostoma. So this is belongings to uh, ASCII helminths, and this will have well developed muscular pharynx. So this is correct. All three characters are correct. Then third one, locusta. In previous question only, I have already told you that. So locusta belongings to arthropoda. So this is an insecta. So but here what they have given, malfigan tubule, correct only. But this is not belongings to mollusca. Next, adamsia, sea anemone we can call. So sea anemone is belongings to cilia and treta. So here porifera they have given. So here radially symmetrical, correct. But phylum name is wrong. So that's what uh, option to n silostoma muscular pharynx and belongings to phylum ascii helminths or roundworm so this is the correct answer next 145 consider the following features select the correct option of animal groups which possesses all above characteristic features so first one organ system grade of organization you will find in annelida also mollusca annelida arthropoda in all phylum animals you will find this is common 
bilateral symmetry also will find in all the phyla. True coelom with segmentation in body. In annelida segmentation you will find. In mollusca you will not find. So that's what. So this will not come. And in annelida segmentation is there. In arthropod also segmentation is there. So in both animals all the characteristic features you will find. So in arthropod I will find. But in echinodermata I will not find segmentation. No segmentation. That's what this is also wrong statement. Arthropod I will find. But in mollusca I will not find no segmentation. So that's what. Uh, so first three A, B, C will be belonging to same group of animals. Means like in annelid also you will find. In an arthropod also you will find. So this is common one. So that's what you have to remember that. So all three characteristic features belonging to both annelida as well as arthropoda. Next, which of the following animals are true coelomids with bilateral symmetry? So adult echinoderms are uh, uh, true coelo, but they are not having the bilateral symmetry. So ascale means, so true coelomids uh, not there. So pseudo coelomic condition is there, but bilateral symmetry. So platyhele means, so they are a coelomids, not true coelom. Annelids, true coelom also, bilateral symmetry also. Annelidans are the example for these characteristic features. So you have to remember. So next followed by 147. So which of the following statements about certain given animals is correct? So first one roundworms or ascihelimins are pseudo -silomates. So this is correct only. Mollusks are a silomates. This is wrong. So molluscans are silomates. Molluscans are silomates. Next, insects are pseudo -silomates. No, insects are also silomates. So, flatworms are silomates. No, so these are a silomates. A silomates. So, this information you have to remember. So, correct answer will be the first option. 147, A is the correct answer. Next, moving to 148. So, match the following genera with the respective phyla. So, Ophiura, Ophiothrix also we can call. So, this Ophiothrix or brittle star belongings to phylum Echinodermata. You have to remember brittle star, commonly called brittle star. Then, Physalia, Portuguese man of war that is belongings to phylum Cilentrata. So, Portuguese man of war. Then, Pinctera, commonly called pearl oyster, belongings to Pearl oysters, bivalved animals belongings to molluscans. Then planaria belongings to platyhelminths. Belongings to platyhelminths. So answer will be option B. 1, 3. 1, 3, right. So 2, 4. 2, physalia, 4, cilantrata, right. So 3, 1, pinctada, mollusca, right. 4, 2. Answer will be second option. Option number 2 is the correct for this match the following. Column 1 and 2. Next 149. So in case of poriferans, the spongocil is lined with flagellated cells. In previous question only I have already told you that. Of course direct you have to go with this coenocytes or another name they can also give like a collar cells. They can also give collar cells. So both names are same. So Oscula is the largest opening in the sponge body. So whatever extra water is there, undigested food is there, it will come out by opening and closing of this osculum. Osculum will be always single. Ostia will be many are there throughout the body. Then mesenchymal cells, usually in between you will find ectoderm, endoderm, mesenchymal cells. Uh, not in these animals. So next group of animals you will find. Ostia, these are the openings through which sea water can easily enter into the canal system. So, other information also you have to know along with that coenocytes. Next, in which of the following, the genus name, its two characters and its phylum are not correctly matched, whereas the remaining three are correct. So, first one, pila, body segmented, mouth with radula, mollusca. So, all are correct, but except one. So, body is unsegmented. Right. Second one, asterias, Spiny skinned water vascular system belonging to phylum echinodermata. All are correct. Next, Cycon. Poor bearing animals, canal system, porifera. So, this is also correct only. Periplaneta, insecta class, 
then jointed appendages arthropoda chitinous exoskeleton so b c and d will be having characteristic feature also same phylum also same and this animal also same so that's what all three are correct except uh, first one so pila belongings to molluscan that is correct only uh, pila or apple snail will also have this radula uh, file like organ rasping organ that is also true but these animals will not have this segmented body so body when they will become adult so body will be unsegmented one so that's what this is the incorrect one next 151 so which of the following phyla is correctly matched with its two general characteristic features so first one is echinodermata pentamerous radial symmetry and mostly internal fertilization so you have to concentrate more on this <clears throat> so they are asking about correctly match so this is wrong external fertilization you will find then mollusca normally oviparous and development through trochophore or veligar larva or through glochidium larva or through glochidium so this is correct one Next, moving to third option, arthropoda, body divided into head, thorax and abdomen. Correct only, respiratory organ like a trachea. So, this is also correct. Actually, two answers will get it from this question. And fourth one, annelida, notochord at some stage and separates anal and uh, urinary openings outside. No separation. So, only what we we'll call it as a notochord at some stage, separation of anal and uh, urinary opening there is no separation so that's what this is also wrong state actually for this 151 so what b and c both are correct both are correct you have to remember so in main exam also uh, you have to remember so they won't give like this both options so sometimes uh, it will happen so both answers are correct so b and c are correct next 152 Two common characters found in centipede. So, centipede and millipedes belongings to phylum arthropoda. So, cockroach also same, crab also same. So, book lungs and antennae, no, compound eyes, anal cerca. So, they are asking about two common characters. So, jointed legs and chitinous exoskeleton. In all, you will find this is common one. So, Greenland also will find only in crustacea. Crab you will find not in the others. Trachea will find only in cockroaches. In others, you will not find. So, that's what common characteristic feature in all these animals means uh, 152. So, option C, you have to remember. Jointed appendages and the chitinous exoskeleton is common in all the arthropodan organisms. This is understood. Next, 153. Incomplete digestive tract. Incomplete in the sense, you have to remember what type of body plan they have. Blind sac body plan. So, it is found in. So, blind sac body plan up to where you will find? Up to uh, platyhelminths you will find. So, here annelida, no. Arthropoda, no. Mollusca, no. So, up to where you will find? Platyhelminths. From ASCII helminths onwards, uh, digestive system is complete with mouth at one end and uh, anus at another opposite end. So, that's what uh, you have to remember. Up to platy helminths only will find blind sac. So, before that means in porifera, you will find cell aggregate plant. So, next to this uh, tissue level of organisms will have this uh, uh, blind sac body plant will platy helminths. So, when the body of an animal can be divided into Equal left and right halves by a one plane. You have to concentrate more on this sentence. Only in one plane. So, one plane in the sense that's understood that bilateral symmetry. Biradial in the sense only in two planes. Radial in the sense in any plane. So, asymmetry in the sense not at all getting two equal halves. If you cut an organism through the central axis in any way. So, in any radius if you are not getting. So, that's understood that asymmetrical. So, this is what important point you have to concentrate. Next, match the following list of animals with their levels of organization. So, usually organ level you will find starting from platy helminths. So, platy helminths in the sense here, example they have given fasciola. Cellular level of organization usually you will find in uh, sponges. Sponges in the sense uh, spongilla they have given. So, first one is two, second one is three, two, three. So, Next followed by tissue level, 
uh, you will find in obelia belongings to cylindrata then 4 correct a2 b3 c4 then d organ system level means in ferratema so ferratema we can commonly called uh, indian earthworm so ferratema lumbricus and ferratema postuma so two indian uh, earthworm species to be there so in general they have given as ferratema so that's what answer will be second option b is the correct answer 155 b is the correct answer next moving to 156 which of the following is incorrect about porifera so they are more solitary or colonial so this is correct only so solitary in the sense single colonial in the sense always while move, movement so they will move in a group so such type of organisms we can call it as colonial type of organism so that is true only so they are asking about incorrect majority will live in fresh water no majority will live in marine water this is wrong statement so most of them are radially symmetrical so most of them are asymmetrical most of them are asymmetrical so that's what this is also wrong statement actually they have to give in in they have to remove if you remove in correct statement so correct statement in the sense so first they are solitary some are colonial inhabited so actual answer will be first option number one so here uh, if you consider this incorrect, you will not get this answer. So, maybe you will get a bonus to this question. Right? So, next moving to question number 157. The following characters are related to which phylum? So, aquatic mostly marine. One. So, then also are not getting means you go with the second one. So, sessile or free swimming. Okay. Radially symmetrical. Okay, they show polymorphism. So, polymorphism in the sense uh, that's understood that that is related to cilientrata. You have to concentrate on this cilientrata. So, why? Because in cilientrata only we are finding mainly this polymorphism. So, you have to go with this cilientrata. 157 D is the correct answer. Next, 158 match the following. So, Physalia, we can commonly call Portuguese man of four. A five next Adamsia C anemone C anemone where fourth one then this is fourth one five four then Palatula C pen three Gorgonia C fan two then Meandrina brain coral five four three two one where it is five four two three no five four three two one then Aurelia jellyfish 6 means uh, 5 4 3 2 1 6 so option 2 is the correct answer so out of four options exact you will get it option b is a correct answer so next moving to Right. So, we are in 158 question. So, option B is the correct answer. So, next we will move towards uh, uh, 159. So, body bears 8 external rows of ciliated complex. So, ciliated complex in the sense uh, that is understood that you have to remember that is the characteristic feature of phylum Tenophora. So, Tenophora or we can also call it as Acnidarians or we can also call it as Sea Walnuts or we can also call it as a, what will call it as a comb jelly. So, all these are the different names of this phylum, Tenophora. 
160th. So fertilization, usually this diagrammatic representation you have to remember. So liver fluke belongings to platyhelminths. Platyhelminths character fertilization you have to remember. Then development, excretion and osmoregulation. So this point of view. So you have to concentrate. This is flame cell. So what we call it as excretory organ as flame cells. Excretory organs you will find flame cells. Then direct or indirect, the indirect development you will find and internal fertilization you will find. So, answer will be 160th, second option. So, next moving to 161. So, select the total number of organisms which show internal fertilization. So, first one, Ascaris, Ucheriria, Ensilostoma, Tinea, Fasciola, Sycon, Eospongia, Spongilla, Pleurobranchia, Tinoplana. So, First, Ascaris, Ucheriria, Ensilostoma. So, these three will be belongings to Ascii helminths. Ascii helminths will have internal fertilization. Next, moving from Tinea. So, Tinea or Tapeworm, Fasciola, Liver Fluke, Sycon Sponge and Eospongia, Bath Sponge, then Spongilla, Freshwater Sponge. So, all sponges belongings to Phylum Porifera. So, Poriferans will also have internal fertilization. Last two. Pleurobranchia, Tinoplana. So, these two belongings to phylum Tinophora. So, but first remaining will be belongings to internal fertilization except to Pleurobranchia and Tinoplana. How many are there first? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, total 8 will be belongings to this internal fertilization. Phylum wise you have to remember. So, directly they have not mentioned phylum. So, instead they have given example wise. So, example wise also they can ask. So, that's what you have to concentrate on. Examples also, phylums also. You have to concentrate more on this fertilization. What type of fertilization is there in that particular organism, in that particular phylum animals. So, next which of the uh, character does not belong to phylum ASCII helminths. So, which character? First one, excretory tube, branch duct, removes the waste from the body cavity through excretory pore. So, that is correct only. H-shaped excretory canal you will find. H-shaped excretory canal. Excretory canal you will find. So, they are unisexual. Sexes are separate. That is correct only. Dioecious also we can call. So, development may direct or indirect. So, both you will find. So, elementary canal is incomplete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. Actually, here for starting from ASCII helminths onwards. So, here digestive system is complete. You have to remember from ASCII helminths onwards, digestive system is complete. So, that's what, uh, so this fourth option is wrong and remaining three are correct one. So, the remaining three are related to the ASCII helminths. 163. The neural system consists of paired ganglia connected by the lateral nerve to a double ventral nerve cord present in. So, double ventral nerve cord you will find in Anelida as well as in Arthropoda. Fasciola will not come. So, Ensilostoma in Ascalimins also not developed and in Neris it is developed. Neris belongings to phylum Anelida. So, they are talking about phylum Anelida. Instead, they have given this example wise. So, Tinea belongings to platyhelminths. In platyhelminths also, you will not find this double ventral nerve cord. So, that's what we'll go with this option. C is the correct answer. Next, 164. Which of the following are sensory organs in phylum Arthropoda? So, what are those? Simple or compound eyes you will find. Statocyst or balance organ you will find. So, helps in maintaining the body balance or equilibrium we can call. So, you will find a small fusion tubule for the excretion purpose and you will also find antennae. Regarding my point, so they are asking about sensory organs. Sensory organs means a malfigian tubule will not come. So, malfigian tubule will have excretory role. You have to remember, they will have this excretory role. So, it means that except three, all except three. So, option C is the correct answer for 164. So, then moving to next question, 165. So, select from the following the total number of uh, useful insect. So, first one, Apis indica. So, we'll get a honey. This is useful insect. Belongings to class insect also. 
Bombax mori. So this is belonging to class insecta. From Bombax, we'll get uh, silk. We'll get silk. Then lacifer, lac insect, belonging to uh, same insect only. So lac will also be used in different leather and other industries. So anaphilus belonging to insecta, but that is not useful one. So this is will not come. Culex will also cause disease and Aedes will also cause disease. And prawn is useful one, but that is not insect. So this is crustacean. This is crustacean. So that's what it will not come. Then scorpion will not come. So locust will not come. So limulus will not come. So that's what. So insect means class insecta. You have to remember class insecta. Option which one will come? So, total 1, 2, 3. So, 3 will be the correct answer. 165, third option is the correct answer. So, next moving to 166. Match the following organisms uh, <coughs> with their respective characters. Pila, Pila, Radula. So, Pila is nothing but apple snail belonging to molluscan character presence of Radula. Bombax, Arthropoda. Malfigian tubules. First one is three, second one is four. Pleurobranchia, tenoplana. So, complex two, three, four, two, tenia one, three, four, two, one. So, three, four, two, one, where it is in option C. Option C is the correct answer. Three, four, two, one. Next, moving to 167, the undifferentiated layer present between the ectoderm and endoderm in cylindrate is called, direct answer will be mesoglia. So, mesoglia is a gelatinous one. So, that is undifferentiated, either attached to the ectoderm or attached to the endoderm. So, that's what we are calling it as undifferentiated layer. So, next type of animals like in Platyhel, Askele means Anelida, sorry. From Anelida onwards, complete uh, differentiation you will find. That's what based on that only platyhelminths, askelminths, anelidans, we can call it as triploblastic. Why? Because so mesoderm may get completely separates from that particular layer. So based on that only, we are calling it as diplo. We are calling it as triplo. So triplo in the sense, three germ layers you will find. Diplo in the sense, two. So these cilian traits also belongings to diploblastic. Why? Because undifferentiated mesoglia will be there. So starting from platyhel means complete differentiation is there. So three complete three germ layers you are finding in such type of organisms. Next, a soft and a spongy layer of skin forms dash. So soft and a spongy layer of skin forms mantle. So they are talking about this molluscan. So over the visceral hump, correct. Second, dash cavity containing means which cavity? Mantle cavity. Containing what? Feather like. Feather like gills. The anterior head region has a sensory. Sensory tentacles. Tentacles are sensory in function. So, mantle, mantle, feather, tentacle. So, option C is the correct answer. 169, water path in sponges. I have already told you. So, first uh, in sponge body by presence of so many ostia are there. So, ostia are the small holes throughout the body you will find. So, by uh, these openings only, the sea water can easily enter into the canal system. So, these openings we can call it as firstly ostia. Then reaches to spongosil, the cavity where the flow of water, food, whatever may be within the sponge body through the spongosil. So then whatever extra water will remain along with the excretory waste, metal and undigested food particles to be remaining in that particular body. So that will be coming out by the opening and closing of this osculum. So that's what this osculum is the gate, channel gate we can call. So, by opening of that particular channel, so whatever extra will be there, so coming out of the body. So, that's what this channel is correct one. First, osculum, no. First, ostia, then spongosil, then osculum. That's what this is wrong. First, ostia correct, then spongosil correct. Again, ostia they have given. This is wrong. Actually, they have to give osculum. Then spongosil, no. First ostia, then spongosil, then osculum. This is also wrong. So, first option is the correct answer. Next, moving to 170. Some Nidarians examples corals have the skeleton composed of. So, usually composed of 
<coughs> so some nidarian so usually nidarians in the sense you have to concentrate on cilian traits <coughs> so here cilian traits so corals corals are also belonging to this cilian traits only in ncrt also in one sentence they have mentioned so they are the harder the part so skeletal structure that is to be made up of with this calcium carbonate so for example you can take uh, first one spongin fibers or silica so silica or spongin fibers usually will find these are the uh, uh, minerals uh, skeleton structure to be made in these sponges but when you'll come across third option calcium carbonate is a uh, heavily deposited in these corals mainly corals you will find in the uh, uh, deeper parts of the sea right so in different colors also you will find these corals so that's what calcium carbonate is the correct answer next water vascular system helps in so water vascular system mainly will find in echinodermata will find in echinodermata so in echinodermata so these will be helpful in locomotion also are getting my point so with the help of two fits within that vascular system and capture and transport of the food by the movement of the sea water within that body and respiration respiration is nothing but exchange of gases nothing but exchange of gases so all three will be taking place with the help of this uh, water vascular system we can also call it as ambulacral system in previous only i have already told you that we can also call it as ambulacral system actually they have not mentioned in the ncrt so then also you have to know what is the another name for this water vascular system so you have to remember that water vascular system or we can also call it as ambulacral system so that's what uh, all of these will be the correct answer next moving to 172 so select the incorrect statement so asterias starfish belongings to phylum echinodermata belongings to echinodermata so echinus sea urchin so sea urchin commonly called scientifically called echinus belongings to same echinodermata so then third one antidon sea lily belongings to echinodermata then cucumeria sea cucumber we can call that is also belongings to same phylum echinodermata but we cannot call it as sea fan we can call it commonly as sea cucumber we can commonly called sea cucumber if they have given this one then only correct answer so that's what uh, this is the incorrect one so sea fan in the sense gorgonia gorgonia belongings to cilentrates belongings to cilentrates so this information you have to know so first one starfish sea urchin correct and antidon sea lily also correct so first three will be belongings to echinodermata next also belongings to echinodermata but that they have to give that sea cucumber then only that will be the correct match so but instead they have given here it as uh, sea fan so that's what this is wrong one so 173 so select the correct total number of correct statement from the following so statement number 1 cilian traits have the tentacles and bear the nidoblast cells that is correct only then moving to second point tenophores are marine animals with comb plates that is also correct only so annelidans are metamerically segmented animals with a true coelom that is also correct only so true coelom begins from this phylum only that's what this is also correct one so the echinoderm possesses water vascular system so that's what all four statements are correct all four statements are correct so 173 answer will be all four statements next moving to 174 mantle cavity is a site of so mantle cavity will have this feather like gills i've already told you in previous uh, uh, question Uh, this will have mantle cavity will have feather like gills so these feather like gills main function will be respiration so sometimes in lack of this excretion mode so depends on this where they are living so based on that so this will be involved in helps in excretion also so that's what both a and b will be the correct answer for this mantle cavity next match the following so pila we can commonly called apple snail so chiton Cheeton also we can call so Cheetopleura. 
Cheetopleura. So, fourth one. Then Dentalium, Tusk Shell. Then Sapia, Cuttlefish. So, 2, 4, 1, 3. Where will find? 2, 4, 1, 3. Right? Second option. 2, 4, 1, 3 is the correct answer. So, next moving to 176. Which of the following is correct about the Ascaris? So, Ascaris means you have to remember roundworm. Roundworm. So, roundworm belonging to which phylum? ASCII helminths. So, that also you have to remember. Nematodes also called. ASCII helminths also we can commonly call. So, females are smaller than males. So, you have to remember. Second point, posterior end of the male is curved dorsally. Females are longer than males. Females are longer than males. Fertilization is external. No. So, what they are asking here? Correct one. Correct one means females are always longer than the males. So, this is also wrong. This is also wrong. And fertilization is internal. That's what that is also wrong statement. So, answer for this question will be option C. Next, moving to 177. <coughs> so, the umbrella shape and free swimming form of the cylindrate. Hmm. So, umbrella shape and free swimming form of cylindrate produced, reproduced by sexual reproduction is medusa. So, that's understood. So, you have already studied in first year. So, a sexual generation always uh, uh, follows the sexual generation. For example, you can take this is a sexual one. It reproduces asexually. This is nothing but polyp you can take. So, polyp will always reproduce asexually into medusa. Medusa. So, this medusa will undergo sexual mode of reproduction. Once again, this is forming polyp. So, this is what we can call it as alternation of generation. So, this alternation of generation is the uh, main characteristic features you will find in the nidarians or in the cylindrate. So, this particular phenomenon we called as metagenesis. In previous question also, I have already discussed about this metagenesis. Metagenesis means when a sexual form is altering with the sexual form. Again, sexual form is altering with the asexual form. So, this information you have to know. Next, select the total number of statement belonging to sponges. Sponges belonging to cellular grade of organization, correct? Body is supported by endoskeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Spongin, it should be spongin fibers. Not sponging, spongin fibers. So next, uh, larva stage morphologically different from adult. That is true only. Then pathway of water transport is helpful in gathering food, respirate, exchange of gases and removal of waste. That is also true. Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite means uh, sexes are not separate. So sexes are united. So, so if sexes are united, so there is no sexual dimorphism. So that's what uh, that condition we can call it as monoecious. Monoecious also we can also call it as hermaphrodite. We can also call it as bisexual. So all three names you have to remember. Next they show power of regeneration. So power of regeneration in the sense that lost part once again regrows. So any lost part. So that main important characteristic feature you will find in uh, other group of animals along with that in cyclone or in uh, sponges also you will find. So that's what almost all statements are correct means option 2 is the correct answer. Next 179. So which of the following group of three animals each is correctly matched with their one characteristic morphological feature. So animal scorpion, spider and cockroach will have ventral solid nervous system. Second one cockroach locust tenia metameric segmentation. So, tenia will not be exhibiting metameric segmentation. This is wrong statement. So, liver fluke C anemone bilateral symmetry. Right? So, liver fluke bilateral correct. C anemone bilateral not there. Radial is there. So, C cucumber. So, that will also not have. So, that's what this is wrong statement. Here centipede, arthropoda, prawn arthropoda, C archin, echinodermata. So all will have jointed appendages? No. Except this C archin. This is also wrong statement. So correct will be scorpion also arthropodan, spider also, cockroach also. All three will be arthropodan and all three will have ventral solid CNS or central nervous system. So that's what option A is the 
correct answer. So next moving towards uh, 180, the animals with bilateral symmetry in young stage and radial pentamerous symmetry in adult stage. Belongings to which phylum? The direct answer will be Echinodermata. Echinoderm's main characteristic feature is presence larval form will have or exhibiting the bilateral symmetry opposite. But when they will become adult, adults will have this radial symmetry. What type of radial symmetry? Pentamerous radial symmetry. So, this is the main important characteristic feature of phylum Echinodermata. So, this completes your paper discussion. Thank you.